Hello, I'm Nemi and I'm here to give you an ultimate guide how to prepare and what it actually takes for you to obtain a tier 10 mythical horse. Our first step is the most expensive one. Depending if you want a tier 10 Pegasus or an Unicorn, you must have both female and male versions of those horses in your stable. However, I heavily suggest you to begin gathering the needed materials for an attempt even before you have obtained both horses, as it will be time consuming and you will be most likely tempted to sell the extra horse at some point in your own gear progression. To attempt a mythical horse, we will be needing an item called Mythical Sensor. It is crafted from multiple items in the game and I will explain how to get all of them. The easiest craftable item is the Old Moon Sensor, which you will need one for one awakening attempt. Pure Tin Crystal, Pure Platinum Crystal, Pure Copper Crystal and Moonlight Opal can all be purchased directly from the marketplace and they are often listed. You will also need one Old Moon Sensor Mold, which can be purchased from any Old Moon Vendor NPC for 20 million silver. The most annoying craftable item is the Mythical Powder, which you need 10 for one awakening attempt. You will be needing Flower of Oblivion, which is only obtainable for selling horses to Imperial Delivery. Imperial Delivery can be done through the Stable Keeper NPC and the horses you sell must be level 15. Depending which tier horse you sell to them, the more Flower of Oblivion you will obtain from the sale. The cheaper and most popular way to get these flowers so far is to train your own horses overnight. You breed them, then sell them to Imperial Delivery and train the foals that you just received. However, I do understand not a lot of people have the motivation or time to fully commit on horse training, so there is a little more expensive way to do this, which is buying horses and instantly Imperial them. One tier 8 horse gives 20 flowers and 100 is needed to craft the 10 mythical powders. Next we have Royal Fern Root, which is where most people are stuck. It is only obtainable from weekly and daily quests, so getting enough of these to click can take a while. I recommend starting the quests now if you ever plan to go for a tier 10 horse. If you don't have time or interest to do it daily, at least do the weekly after a reset. The quests are given by NPC Wapra, located at Stonetail Horse Ranch. This NPC also gives a mythical feather weekly. Your quest is very simple, go catch a wild horse. You will need a few ropes in case you fail a taming and you can buy them from the stable keeper at Stonedale Ranch. Horse tiers do not matter anymore because all wild horses are now tier 6 and tier 7 so don't look for the pelt colors of old guides. Weekly quest now gives you 30 royal fan roots and the daily gives between 2 and 7 depending on your training level. Next we have Fruit of Enchantment. You will need 100 of them for one awakening attempt. There is two efficient ways of getting these. You either place a max period of 500 in the marketplace and forget about these until they fill. Or you do like me and start up a fresh farm for yourself because what else is there to do in the game? You can obtain Fruit of Enchantment from cops called Dry Mine Grass, Everlasting Herb, Fire Flake Flower, Silver Azalea, Silk Honey Grass, and Sunrise Herb. First, you need yourself a farm if you don't already have one. You can rent 10 strong fences from material vendor Flaviano in Hadel City for 100 contribution points. If you are farming level master 1 or higher, you can also rent Old Moon fences from Old Moon vendors T in Hadel. Both of them cost the same and they fit the same amount of crops, but Old Moon Fence is slightly smaller. You can buy 100 blue grey seeds and upgrade them to magicals by breeding. It requires farming artisan 1 or higher though. Then you set up 10 workers to work on the farms for you. For workers, you also need to purchase lodging with contribution points so they have houses to sleep in. But let's not make this a farming tutorial, so we are moving on to the next items. It sounds a lot of work, but the two remaining items to grind ourselves a mythical powder are easy, thank god. Both black stone powder and everlasting herb can be purchased from the marketplace. If there for some reason isn't any herbs listed, you can also farm them yourself and get some extra fruit of enchantments. 
Finally, the last item for Mythical Sensor, the most hated one as well. You need 10 of these for one attempt and there is no good way of getting them. Currently while making this video, there were 7 ways to obtain them, but people only really do 2 weeklies, keep a pre-order up and complain to BDO Horse Discord that they don't sell. First way to get them is by pre-ordering. They do eventually fill, maybe in a week, month or two, but they will. The second is gathering Lachiaros. It has a low chance of to drop from primitive, lush primitive, old and lush old Lachiaros sacks. Honestly, I got told to forget about these, the chance is so low. Third way to, is to exchange fairies. Remember making your own fairy? Turning in fairy petals has a chance to give you a tier 3 fairy that can be exchanged to one feather or tier 4 fairy that gives two mythical feathers. The fourth way is a weekly quest from Old Wisdom Tree, a quest NPC is a stable keeper Varial and you need to hand him an item called Wings of Ascension. You craft it yourself. One record item is Powder of Ascension that you get from tanning animals. Rest can be found in Marketplace. If you have created your infinite mana potion or plan to do it, tanning Ferricas does indeed drop the powder so you should have plenty of it somewhere. The fifth way is also a weekly quest and it's located in Stonedale Horse Ranch. You hand an NPC Wapra either one Crocodile Origin Stone or a Carrot Confit. Somewhere between 600 to 800 is required depending what is your training level. The sixth way is to hand 10 Red Earth Bloodstones to NPC Legendi at Narshan Node. You get these items by hunting a rhino bows with a matchlock. The last, seventh way is a new one. You have a chance of obtaining an Imperial Steed when you are breeding your horses. Imperial Steed can only level up to level 15 and cannot learn any skills. However, sending it to Imperial Delivery, the rewards are rather insane. You get 10 mythical feathers and other rewards shown in the image. After a few weeklies, dailies and hopefully some feather RNG, I hope getting your mythical sensors is not too stressful. Unless you are blessed with RNG, you will need multiple attempts of awakening the tier 10 mythical horse, as the chance of getting it is 3% and it does not go up after failing. When you are clicking your mythical tier 10 horse, you will be needing to put both your female and male horse into the awakening process. If you do fail, the horses are not consumed, they are normally returned into your stable and you can use them both just as a regular tier 9. However, if the tier 10 awakening succeeds, you will get a level 1 tier 10 mythical horse whose skills are reset and stats are also reset. And that's it for the video, I hope my heavy accent didn't make the explanation hard to understand and I wish you tons of luck for your future Team 10 Awakening attempts. Please leave a comment if you got any questions or feedback, see you in game, bye!